Hey guys! <laughs> I feel like every time I do my intro, my voice wants to crack because I'm going like several octaves higher than how I normally talk. So I'm like, hi guys! And it's like, no, bring it back down. Um, hey guys, happy Thursday. I am sitting in my bed right now and I am um, trying not to make like very quick movements because I have my laptop like balancing on my knees and I'm like doing this baby crunch to keep everything in order but I don't really do crunches every day so it's a bit of a struggle um really quick video I subtle movements um a couple of things my hair is straight I actually have a lot of hair um I just kind of like threw it up on my head and I came home but I looked really nice at work today you guys should look at my Instagram to see my fantastic look. Um, but right, quick video, no time to be chatty. So I um, tried out a new foundation today. Hopefully I don't have to move again. I tried out a new foundation today and well, kind of new. So it is the one of the, ooh, that glare though. It's one of the two match um, Lumi Cushions by L'Oreal. But I ended up trying it in the color C8. So when I did my first video, I had the color like W8, and then I had a cool and a neutral, but in the five range, so there's like a five and a 5.5. And I was in, I wanna say I got this out of Rite Aid. Um, I was in, yeah, I was in Rite Aid like a week ago for this particular product. And I just happened like walking like past the aisle and I noticed that they had the darker shades in stock and the first time that I got those three colors they didn't have cool eight and I was looking at different videos and I saw that there were women of color that had like found their perfect match and I was like w8 is not cutting it for me like what colors are you guys using because I don't feel like this product is actually going to work for me and just using it by itself so when I walked past this um and then I also have a review for a couple of the Revlon Color Stay, like two in one foundation corrector palettes that I want to do. Um, I was shocked that they had this color. I mean, I do live in um, Center City in Philadelphia. So I, I'm in a population where they should be offering darker shades, but I usually don't find like shades this dark in um, for brands like L'Oreal or Maybelline um, or Revlon. I can go over to Black Opal and Black Radiance and find stuff, but um, I was just very shocked and I was like, I need to buy this. <laughs> like, I know I've already reviewed these products, but whatever, screw it. I need to buy the darker shade because it's the last one left and I can't even right now. So I ended up buying it, trying it out today, and not gonna lie, I kind of have to give this one a thumbs down. I really liked at least for the other three colors, I liked how I felt like it was giving me more of a flawless finish. Um, I don't know, maybe I like tried this in a different manner. I definitely used a stippling brush and not the Beauty Blender this morning. I didn't use a primer, so shame on me, but I felt like that aside, this formula just felt different in this darker color. It wasn't blending as well with my skin. The other products that I was putting on top of it weren't playing as nicely as they did with the other three colors that I had. And I think that overall this color, and I'll swatch it while I'm talking and I'll stop moving. Um, I think overall this color, it suits the outside portion of my face well, but not the inside portion. It was, it was like honestly to the point where I was, go ahead and show you guys. It was to the point where, I think it just blends in, to the point where I was like doing a double take as I was getting ready to get dressed and I'm looking at my mirror. I have this huge mirror in my bathroom and I can see like from the top up. And I was like, my face just doesn't look right. Like something feels off. And I don't know if other people really notice or care, but I noticed and cared. And I um, definitely lean more on the warm side, but even like putting on my contour is just, this is how it dries. Uh, like putting on my contour is like two cool shades on top of each other. It looked weird. I, like the brush that I was using, very blendable, but like the contour just kind of seemed, and you can still see it, it's like a stripe. Like it just seemed to sit right where I put it. Um, and I just, I just felt really weird all day at work. Um, let me try and zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see on the bridge of my nose there, but like I said, this did not play well 
with my skin throughout the day. And it got to the point where I, so I wear glasses and but taking them on and off, like the, the product will shift around my nose, but let me try and get in a, a little closer. Don't mind these edges. Um, like you can definitely see where the foundation is just rubbed off and because it's not the best um, shade match for the middle part of my face, like it was very noticeable. I had one of my friends and a coworker be like, hey, girl, just want to let you know, saw you take your glasses off and there's just like two little imprints and you can really see it here. Um, there's like two little imprints showing us that you did that, which side note, it is pretty, it's a pretty vulnerable experience. I'll say to try different products out at work because that's really the only way I'm going to be able to get through a lot of, um, the things that I want to review for you guys is that I have to try it out throughout the day, throughout the work week, because I can't wait and leave everything for the weekends. But trying out foundation, like that's a vulnerable experience because if it doesn't match you, it's not gonna match you all day and it's not gonna match you in front of your peers. It's not gonna match you in front of your manager. It's not gonna match you in, in front of people that you're meeting with. And I don't know if people notice that kind of stuff, but I definitely do. So that's my assumption going into a meeting that, and I, I had a meeting um, with someone where I had my glasses off I had for two meetings today. And I was just like, yo, like two meetings later, now you're like, I'm getting this feedback. Like, that's fantastic. Um, so, I mean, even like on camera, I look greasy. I don't know. I just like some of my beauty marks are showing. I mean, that's always showing, but like my contour looks like I just didn't care today. Sorry, y'all can see it my nose. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to continue to play around with this. I will say for the outer portion of my face in trying this product, I'm realizing that those tones are definitely cooler than the middle part of my face. So I could explore using a cooler foundation. It's not something that I'm used to my like seeing myself with a cooler foundation on. So it's nice to know that I have that option. I think one way that I can better use this product is to try and balance this very tastefully put the product on on the outside portion of my face and just feather it in to the middle portion but going in with a um considerably lighter and warmer concealer um so that when the colors blend it's really closer to my actual skin color for the middle of my face and then setting it with a uh, appropriate color powder i did use a concealer this morning and I just don't think it was really white enough but I was mixing a warm and a cool color so just really a cluster this morning trying to get my foundation together but I mean like overall I'm kind of happy and excited to take it off now that I'm home I I can feel it on my face it doesn't feel great I haven't blotted at all today L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation I tried. <laughs> I have four different colors and I tried. So I'll definitely keep using it. I don't know how popular it's going to be in my videos. If I find a better way of applying it, I might do another video. I might do something shorter telling you guys to like check the blog. The blog is still a thing. It still happens. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they are making, oh, my voice just jumped. I'm glad that they are making colors that do come in a darker shade, though, because it really did take me by surprise when I was in, put this back down, I'm not good at bouncing the camera, when I was in Rite Aid looking for other stuff. And of course, whenever I go, I go in there, I get makeup, even when I'm going for food or staples or whatever. Um, so I was, I was surprised to see it. I was pretty happy. But long story oh short story short because it's only like a 10 minute video that's just an updated opinion that I have I felt kind of weird when I came home like not sharing this additional find um with picking up the darker shade but yeah let me know what your thoughts are you guys on any of the colors what you've seen worked what doesn't work I really want these products to work it's kind of a shame um that this one's not working out as much but I still think that it has a lot of excuse me, potential um, and its application, its ability um, to get more of a full coverage. But for whatever reason, this just, this color feels very like chalky on the skin. Those are my two cents. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel if these videos aren't as interesting 
I'm trying to get through my foundations as quickly as possible, especially with summer coming up. And that's a whole nother ball game of picking out a foundation when it's hot outside and you start to tan. So I'm trying to get through these very quickly. But yeah, have a great night. I will see you all shortly as the weekend is upon us. So that means you guys get two new videos um, and whatever else I can think of. But it's it's nice to be filming again. I will say that much because I haven't really gotten a chance to do too much this week. And it's it's bummed me out to my five subscribers. It's bummed me out, you guys. Um, but yeah, so till next time. <laughs> Trying to figure out a way to wrap this up. Yep. Till next time. Sounds good. See you guys later. Have a great Friday. I'm gonna go find some food um, and go to sleep. <laughs> Do something with my hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.